What is going on guys? Welcome to your 60 second tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to begin talking about something called exception handling. Now an exception is a way of handling an error that might occur when your program is running. For example, if you built a calculator and the user is trying to divide by zero, that may be an error that occurs when the program is running. Or if you know you have you made a game and you need a user to register. If they try to use like 999 as their age, that's unacceptable, so that may cause an error to occur. So let's go ahead and take a look at the syntax for this. Now, the first thing we need is something called a try block. Now, in this try block, this is where we write the code that we want to try, aka the code that we think an uh, error might occur. So let's go ahead and make something like I'm going to be making a simple program that takes two ages the mother's age and the son's age. Now we all know that a son cannot be older than its mom. So whenever the son's age is greater than the mom's age, this would of course cause an error. So let's go ahead and make two variable int mom's age and int son's actually might as well have seven equal to values right now. Int mom's age equals like thirty and int son's age we'll set this equal to 34 now we all know this is impossible so let's go ahead and test it right now so if the son's age is greater than the mom's age then we want to go ahead and we want to do something called throwing an exception now it's basically this whenever you have something that occurs that shouldn't occur we need to tell the computer that an error did occur and we do this by throwing an exception and in order to throw an exception exception go ahead and type throw and then type an error number and you can make this any number you want you can actually do other things besides numbers but just throw a number because later on say we made a program that checked for you know twenty different types of errors we want to know what error got caught so let's go ahead and we already know that in our little manual ninety nine means that the mom is younger than the son so you know it's pretty much just a reference number so anytime we get an exception and remember anytime this line of code is going to run it basically means that an error occurred so now that we know an error occurred we need a way to handle that error because we just don't want our program to freak out and shut down so in order to handle the error we do something called catch the error catching the error allows you to pass in that number which is 99 so now x is equal to 99 and we can handle it a certain way for example we can just output to the user um, something like this son cannot be older than mom um, and then for reference we write error number and this is where we write that X right there end line and just scroll ahead so you guys can see what I'm typing so now if we go ahead and run this we can see alright whenever this program runs and the kid is older than the mom then we have an error message that pops up that says son cannot be older than mom error number 99 so you know this is pretty much just for our reference this error number but let's go ahead and say that the mom was indeed older than the son the mom's like 50 and the son was 50, 34 well this is gonna work fine and this is never gonna happen so no error is gonna be thrown no exceptions are gonna be thrown so this catch block is just gonna be skipped so let's go ahead and run this and we don't get any error messages this program works perfectly so basically the concept of this tutorial is this an exception is a way of handling errors that may occur when your programs running for example um, if the user tries to divide by zero or pretty much if the user does something they aren't supposed to do now in the try block right here this is where you write the code where the error might occur and right after it you need a catch block now the catch block is basically what what to do if there is indeed an error and if there is no error in this try block then the catch block is skipped altogether and just like a function a catch block takes parameters so it can take an integer in this case such as 99 and that's pretty much just like an error number you know whenever 
uh, you're just playing on your computer and Windows messes up, you now have like the error message pops up. Well, that's pretty much what we're doing right here. It's like error message, yada, yada, yada. Do you want to send to Microsoft or do you don't want to send? And by the way, does anyone ever send those? Do they really get those error messages? I don't think so. But anyways, now you guys know the basics of exception handling. And by the way, if you guys are saying, you know what, Bucky, I could just have used an if statement and, you know, made a separate function for this. Well, I know that we can do this a different way, but um, exception handling is useful whenever you're trying to, you know, do computer stuff like allocate memory. I just want to show you guys a real easy example for this case, but I know that you could have probably made this program just by using a basic if statement and, you know, maybe a simple function or something. But I want to demonstrate the try and catch block and how to handle an error message so these are useful for a lot more than you know f comparing two variables and there are some instances where we can't just make a simple program that we need to use this exception handling so for now I just want to tell you guys that so uh, I guess in the next tutorial I'm probably going to show you guys another example and uh, show you guys how you can use a different parameter for this catch block right here. But for now, that's all you guys get. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.